Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna to talk about the news of the day. Obviously the Cowboys are not practicing today. Um, we have some news here. And um, we're talking about the Demontre Moore suspension. This is serious because we're losing another player here. Pass rush, right? So now just to, to clarify, this suspension stems from the DWI that he had while he was with the Seattle Seahawks last season. So this isn't like some boneheaded decision that he's done here with the Cowboys. So this this happened in the past. Cowboys were aware of it. And, uh, you know, they still made the signing here back in March when, when they brought in the Montre Moore. So he's going to miss the first two games of the season. That means we won't get to see Eli Manning's dopey face on the ground looking up at him. Uh, that's going to have to be some somebody else getting to him. Nevertheless, he's going to miss that Giants game there at AT&T Stadium. Week two, we're on the road at Denver. So he's going to miss that game there. So he'll be back week three at Arizona. So we'll get him back. So we've got some players here that are out dealing with, you know, suspensions here. Um, but, you know, we still have death here. Looking at the defensive line, uh, the shuffling here, probably for week one. We got to hope that these guys stay healthy. That's going to be the key. We're fine right now. Tyrone Crawford, Tapper there, uh, Thornton and Paya, Malik Collins, Joey Ivy, Demarcus Lawrence, Taco Charlton, Benson Mayoa. Those guys make up the, the bulk of the defensive ends there that will be in the rotation. So not having Demontre Moore. Hmm. That sucks, you know, it, it just does. And we need all the pass rushers that we can get because that's that's been our biggest thing here, getting to the quarterback. It's been hounding us for years now, you know, uh, ever since Hatcher and, and Ware uh, left here. It's been, been hard to find some sacks. We're looking everywhere for them. So hopefully these other guys will step up. Mayoa, you know, keep on doing what he's been doing. Yeah, finished pretty strong there. Led the team in sacks. Demarcus Lawrence. Um, looking pretty quick out there. Uh, Malik Collins. That might be where we're going to get some of these sacks from up the middle. Right? But, uh, yeah. So, we're, we'll, we'll make do. The key is no injuries. We're going to have to be careful here. How we uh, play these guys in the preseason. We do have five preseason games because we're playing in the Hall of Fame game. So, um, expect to see a lot of these younger guys, rookies, and these types of players to get more action. The other thing that we want to talk about here, the Ezekiel Elliott suspension news. Looks like this is going to be on hold. We don't know if this is going to be a strategic thing or not, but, uh, you know, they said that that news is not coming out this weekend. So, no suspension news, uh, you know, for or against him getting suspended. So, and then there's uh, speculation that the news will be on hold for the following week because Jerry Jones will be in the uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame. So, you know, does the NFL want to have that cloud over that speech? But if he's not getting suspended, go ahead and make the announcement. I mean, he, he I mean, this thing is just is ridiculous. You know, uh, in the criminal system, you're afforded a speedy trial, the due diligence and that sort of thing. Uh, they need to do something here with the CBA or something needs to be done here with the NFLPA and the commissioner. He's just dragging his feet. This is not, uh, he's not getting this in a timely matter at all. All right. You, you almost feel that there needs to be some sort of lawsuit to, to speed this thing up. This is ridiculous. But uh, either way, I think if, if they hand down some sort of suspension of games, I think Jerry Jones is going to fight this tooth and nail. I don't see him sitting up uh, taking this one here. I, I really don't, which which is good. I, I wouldn't either. Um, you know, it's just a messed up situation. So hopefully we'll get uh, clearance on this, clarification, hopefully the following week. So maybe it's possible we're looking at three weeks away, which is ridiculous. Still, that's very ridiculous. Hopefully, we hear something before that. Uh, I would hope, you know, maybe even early next week or something. But, 
that's where we're at on with that news there on Ezekiel Elliott. Nothing new there on the release. Um, Peter King is reporting that uh, that um, Jalen Smith's knee has regenerated up to 80%. So 80% regeneration. That's kind of on par with what they're saying that he he will be 100% in six to nine months. So that's good news. I mean, this is just very good news. But uh, that's it, guys. Let me know what you guys think here about the Demontre Moore uh, suspension. Obviously, this happened while he was with Seattle. But what do you guys think about how this may affect the pass rush the first two weeks, the Giants and the Denver Broncos? Um, also, let me know what you guys think about this uh, unknown timetable for Ezekiel Elliott's suspension. Is it happening or is it not happening? Right. What do you guys think about this? Is this ridiculous or what? Right. But that's it, guys. Uh, we'll see you here tomorrow. I'll have something here for you guys on Saturday. So come back for that video. Please like and subscribe and we'll catch you for the next video. Thanks, guys.